So how did you analyze the reason you got into Stanford University successfully? What was your strengths which appealed to admission offices? Well, my biggest strength is diversity in my belief. Although I am interested in science, I was involved not only in science, but also in social issues such as the environment. So with, with, sci with the social issues, I am currently in the position of the president of Polar Bear Club, which is an environment club in this half school. And I believe my diverse activities have really like shown my interest not only in science, but also in social issues. So what I've appealed to the admission office was that I've done many activities in environment, such as making acrylic lufa or donating textbooks for elementary school students to use in after school lessons. And also I've presented myself in front of 400 audience at TEDx Youth event. And I, be I believe this showing that I'm interested in the environment has really appealed myself to the Stanford people. Also with the, my activities in science, I've, partic I've participated in many internships at universities, do, make doing some researches and publishing papers and participating in forums, international forums with many of my friends and the professors. And I've also participated in physics debate tournament where I've appealed like, my interest in physics. So I believe my, uh, my interest to connect science and, and environmental issues have really appealed to the diversity that Stanford society is trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. um, many Korean students want to have good command of English. So how did you develop your English communication skills? And can you suggest, suggest some advice to Korean students? Uh, well, there are many ways that students can improve their English. And I believe vocabulary does play an important part in improving English. But the most important thing I believe is, uh, well, uh, as I've emphasized, confidence. Like, even in Korean, you can communicate with other people even if your grammar is wrong. It's the same idea in English. It, although, even if your vocabulary or your grammar is wrong, you can still communicate if you like, have, even if you use a simple lang simple vocabulary or simple grammar, you can still communicate or express yourself to other people. So I believe the most important thing is to have confidence that uh, in whatever state you are in, whether you've never been to abroad or you've never opened English book, if you have confidence that you can express yourself, then eventually English will improve. What's your advice to Korean students who want to get admitted to Stanford University successfully in the future? Well, my advice is that do not fo focus on one aspect only. Like Korean students have tendency to put too much emphasis on school GPA or scores, but in admission, scores play a little part in admission. I believe the most important thing is to show yourself through diverse activities, whether it is sports, arts, science, internships, projects, or other extracurricular activities. I believe the most important thing is to do as many things as you can while you're still a student and just expose yourself, expose yourself to many circumstances and just, just be true to yourself. I, I, I believe that's the most, the most important thing in getting to colleges abroad. Um, say something to Korean students, young students, who are struggling due to um, slums or emotional fluctuation, whatever. So encourage your remarks based on your life experiences. Um, well, anyone can have slump. And I think what's important is how you overcome it. In my case, my life was not easy either. When I was in ninth grade, I also was dropped twice from high schools that I wanted to go to. But and it was really, like for me, it was a troubled time. I did not know what to do. I lost my confidence. I no longer like, knew what my dreams were. But I overcame that because 
I believed in myself that at that time I knew that someday like my life would get easier. And when I look back from the present time, I can see that what I thought was right. Like, although at that time I was really miserable, felt that nothing could, like nothing could get any worse. But I believe those slumps and those bad times have actually given me a new opportunity to come to this like, amazing school, like expose me to like diverse experiences and opportunities, and. I believe those bad, those bad times have actually given me a chance to get closer to my dream. So what I want to say to all those young students, kids who have slump, is that hard times eventually pass. And even that hard time, even that slump, may actually play beneficial to them in the future. So just have confidence, just believe in yourself, and do as much as you can and the hard, hard time will eventually pass.